How's it going guys? Jordan here, back again, and Arsenal have lost 3-1 to Barcelona at the Camp Nou, 5-1 on aggregate, and I'll just start off by saying, to be fair to Arsenal, they played a lot better today. Why they can't play like this every single game that they play, I have no clue. Against Watford, where was the energy? Where was the drive? Where was the, the hunger to score? There was absolutely no commitment from the players. Today, they actually turned up to a game that was pretty much done and dusted with in the first leg. They decided, hey, why not let's play today? It's against Barcelona. We could get, oh, we're not that bad. We just don't like turning up to the small games. Against Watford, they didn't do anything. <sighs> Created a lot of chances today. Um, the game was just it was good from Arsenal. Just We couldn't finish our chances. It was just annoying because every shot that we got, we just kept putting it wide. I know one chance it will be. He was through on goal. Then he clips his own ankle. He should be getting a red card from the ref for that. I mean, sure, it's a yellow card for simulation, but no, he he deserves to get benched for the rest of the season and not see another game of his life for Arsenal. Clips his own ankles, wasn't even touched by Mascherano, goes down wanting a penalty when he can take a shot when he's one-on-one. -on -one. Just a stupid chance from Iwobi that he should have uh, at least tested the keeper. Instead, he just falls down like a sack of potatoes and Mascherano just clears and the ref raves him on. Just give... He played well today, though, to be fair to him. Besides that moment, he did do some. Uh, he did have some good chances, that all of which were blocked, but uh, at least he created something. Uh, one player, oh, Flamini. What the hell is he still doing with Arsenal? We got rid of him. He's, we sent him off to Milan, then we got him back for some reason. He starts ahead of Cockland, then, to be fair to him, he, it, he didn't give away a penalty today. Today, he actually managed to get on the pitch and not do anything stupid. It took him 31 minutes to get a yellow card instead of right off the bat. Um, 44th minute, right before halftime, he subs him off, gets him off the pitch before he can do any harm. Um, and yeah, that was 1-0 uh, at halftime. We did very well at the, start of the, at the start of the game. Barcelona didn't create too many chances. We had most of the chances. Just like I keep saying, we could not finish. <sighs> just frustrating to watch. I mean, you get so many chances and then they just keep messing it up. Ugh. Uh, we'll get on to the game now, and uh, and it started off in the first, second minute when uh, Welbeck got a good pass. He took a shot, but uh, it was very good defending from Mascherano. He didn't touch the ball, but he put Welbeck off. The referee gave us a corner for some reason, and terrible refereeing today. No, uh, in the seventh minute, Suarez gets a pass. He was offside. He was miles offside. There was no way that he was even onside. The referee, for like the linesman, he takes his good little time. He's like, oh, well, let's just play around with his emotions. Let's play around with the Arsenal fans. And then, oh, now I can waste up my flag. It's just fucking stupid. Um, tenth minute, uh, Ozil gets a ball at the edge of the box. He's running towards uh, Barcelona. Takes a shot. It's a powerful shot. Just he couldn't give any bend to it. He just puts it wide. Another wasteful chance for Arsenal. In the 14th minute, um, Bellerin gets into a foot race with Jordi Alba and... Bellerin, he's just so fast. You see Jordi Alba with his head back trying to run as fast as he can, but uh, uh, Bellerin's just too quick for anyone. I don't even think Aubameyang can, can uh, catch up to Bellerin. I think he's just an amazing uh, amazing player, just a lot of pace. Uh, he gets a cross into the box, um, and the ball bounces around. The false Elmeni, whose shot goes just wide, but uh, good warning shots from Arsenal, just we can't get anything on target. Uh, in the 16th minute, uh, over the top ball, falls right to Messi. Messi takes down a beautiful touch. No chance for any of the Arsenal defenders. Here had the run on them. Koscielny had no chance to get back to him. He's just so quick and such a good player. Uh, he hits the shot. I thought that he'd chip, try to chip Ospina like he does to so many keepers. Instead, he takes a powerful shot that is well saved by Ospina, to be fair to him. Uh, they have a corner who... The corner falls to Jeremy Mathieu and... He was wide open. I have no clue how he managed to miss that. It was a terrible header. He just fell to the floor and just skied it over the bar. But then after the replay finished that, you have Arsenal with the possession. Give it right back to Barcelona. They play two Suarez, who was offside, but um, the ref didn't see it. Again, terrible refereeing. Plays it through to Neymar. Neymar in a one-on-one. -on -one. This time they managed to score. It's 1-0, and this it was already game over at the start of the game. But now it's just game set and match. It's just no chance for Arsenal. In one minute, Barcelona created three good chances, one of which was saved. The other one was over the bar when it should have been saved, on target at least. And then the third one was converted by them. Just shows the level of quality. They get three chances and they score one of them. We get 
three chances and we just put them all wide. We can't even test the keeper with them. Uh, then the 25th minute, uh, Flamini gets a shot from a corner. It's kind of like a FIFA corner where you play it short and then you play it to the top of the box and then you take a shot. To be fair to him, it was a good shot, but it was just over the bar. The guy's not a scorer. He's only scored two goals this season, both against Tottenham, which I was happy with because it was, uh, you know, against Tottenham and, you know, they suck. So I guess that's the only time he can score. So good for him to score against a shite team. But uh, against the big teams, he's never going to score. Um, uh, then in the 37th minute, uh, Wolby takes a shot. It goes just over the bar. Uh, 30th minute, um, Sanchez lays a pass through to Elmeni, who does take a shot. Uh, who wait El Mani, he takes a touch why does he take a touch he's inside the box if he hits it first time at least he tests the keeper instead he takes a touch and then the defender manages to get across and just block him it's just when you you don't get too many chances against Barcelona they don't have the best defense their goalie's good but he's not the best keeper in the world if you just keep testing him eventually you're gonna score but he takes a touch gives them enough time to fix their mistake and then they manage to block it and clear their lines um 39th minute, uh, Bellerin crosses it to Sanchez. Sanchez heads it, just goes wide. He should be burying that. He was wide open in the box. He gets the jump. He gets the angle on the bar, but he put on the ball, but he puts it wide. Or at least force a save. I mean, that's all I'm asking for. Just force a save from the keeper. Give him something to do. Don't just keep putting it wide. If you put the the ball wide, then it's a let up for Barcelona. Get to regroup. They get a goal kick. They get to push their men back up the pitch and then regain possession. You give them a corner. We get a corner. Then we can create another chance. It's easy. Just put your shot on target, give the keeper something to do, but no, they just keep putting it wide. <sighs> that was pretty much the last chance in the half. Uh, like I said, Flamini, Flamini ends up getting subbed off, which is probably the best substitution I've seen from Wenger in a while. I, like, you shouldn't be starting the game, Flamini, but uh, at least he manages to get him off before he can do anything stupid, like get a second yellow card, which I'm shocked he didn't do, but hey, good for him. Well, he did something right. Um, 48th minute, uh, we'll be... Uh, takes a shot, it's deflected wide. It was a good chance. He had the ball as it was screaming for it, but uh, he takes the shot on his own. It was uh, well blocked from Mascherano, hits the side netting. Pretty much the story of uh, Arsenal. Mascherano played amazingly today. He got across the ball, he kept uh, getting in front of the shots. He's a very good player, and I think he's a very underrated player. People don't uh, realize how good of a defender he is. But. Um, yeah, then in the 51st minute, Sanchez gets it to Elmeni. This is finally where we have a chance. He gets it to Elmeni. Elmeni takes a touch, puts it in the top corner. It was a brilliant shot. Good goal. Now we're back in it. It's 1-1. We get two goals. However unlikely. Then we're back in it. It's tied. It's 3-3. We won on away goals. But no, it's just more and more wasteful chances. 1-1. Uh, 55th minute, uh, Neymar and Messi play a 1-2. Uh, and Messi takes a shot. It's well saved by Ospina's left hand at the bottom. We got down very quickly. It was a very good save. Then Arsenal managed to clear it. Uh, 57th minute, terrible header for Matsir. We should be capitalizing this. I mean, there should have been another runner helping Welbeck out. No one was uh, coming up in time. They were just like, oh, let's just sit back and watch. You know, let's just uh, have a nice little chit chat. Let's hope Welbeck finishes. But Mascherano gets across. The brilliant defending by him. Saves Matsir. And uh, Welbeck couldn't score that. Um, uh, 61st minute, uh, Messi gets a shot, he puts it just wide. Again, Barcelona, they, they create chances out of nothing. It's just amazing to watch, just annoying for uh, for Arsenal fans because like, I wish we had players that could just create chances, but San, uh, Santi Cazorla is injured, Ramsey's injured, our entire midfield is injured. I mean, we're playing Femini to start off. I mean, that tells you how bad it is. It's like our whole squad's a bunch of Diabis. It's terrible. Uh, 65th minute, Dani Alves puts a cross into Suarez wide open. Again, Bellerin should have come across, but he's dragged out by Neymar. Suarez wide open, goes for the volley, hits his shin, not even the foot, hits his shin, hits off the uh, underside of the bar, and goes in. Ospina, no chance. It's 2-1 two, two for Barca. And then we have three goals again to score in 20 minutes. And we've created the chances to um, score the goals, but we just haven't been able to put it in. <sighs> 67th minute, Welbeck gets the ball, he turns his defender, takes a shot. Uh, Ter Stegen thought that it was going over, to be fair, to Welbeck, but it hits the bar, just goes, bam, right off the bar, and then goes over. Real let off for Barcelona, but it was a good shot from Welbeck. At least that one was on target. I can see their crossbars and posts on target, so. Well, for him. Then 79th minute, Sanchez uh, hits a free kick. Now, this is a very good opportunity, and 
a world-class striker should finish this off. I mean, I think any striker would finish this off, but a world-class one will be finishing this off. Santos hits a free kick. Ter Stegen saves it. It was a good free kick, a lot of power, good uh, positioning, a good placement from Sanchez. Ter Stegen saves it. Um, Giroud on the follow-up takes the shot, saves. So I guess a world-class uh, striker can't uh, finish those chances since, according to Wenger, Giroud is world-class and we don't need to spend the money to get a new world-class striker because Giroud is world-class and we have an amazing backup to him and well back. Uh, 87th minute, Ozil finds uh, Walcott. Uh, his first touch was terrible, forces him out wide. Ter Stegen comes out, closes down the angle. Good save. And uh, last chance of the game was in the 80th minute. Uh, Arsenal uh, give it away sloppily. Like, just terrible back pass. They give it away. Messi was in on offside position, but it was Arsenal's player who passed it. So he managed to get the ball. Neymar's pass gets blocked, falls to Messi. Messi chips Ospina. And I saw a thing on uh, Facebook today where it said that Messi never scored on uh, Espino. Well, they said the same thing to, uh, last game against Czech. So I think we should stop uh, posting things on, uh, oh, he's never scored against this goalkeeper. Let's get our hopes up. Because it's Messi. He's going to score on anyone. It's just it's terrible. Arsenal's defense is not good enough to keep him out against, uh, even if it's Petr Cech or Espino. Who cares if it is? We're never going to keep him out. And that's how the game finished. It finished 3-1. Those... Good performance by Arsenal. I just wish we could play like that every single day of the week. But, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more, please make sure you like and subscribe. For, uh, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.